What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today, we're going to be talking about Extinction and more specifically, Chaos Mode. As you guys know, Chaos was added to the Extinction sector of Call of Duty Ghosts for Xbox One, 360, and PC. Now for those of you guys on PlayStation, it's coming to you guys within the next week, although no real solid date is confirmed yet. Now for those of you guys that don't have half hours to hours on hand to dedicate to Extinction, this is absolutely perfect for you guys. If anyone doesn't remember, it was in Modern Warfare 3 and that's where it originated. It's true to the name because the longer you last the crazier it gets so if you like high-paced action this is definitely a great choice for you now it was quite fun in modern warfare 3 but i actually do prefer this version a lot more that being said it goes by quick and you probably won't be able to last 10 plus minutes but who knows maybe you are amazing so today's video i can't really take any credit for it's some original thinking and just relaying of a message but call of duty put up on their forums the mechanics of how chaos works and what i mean is they posted what you get what the bonuses are and stuff like that so without Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, if you've ever played Chaos, you know that you get perks for each one of your sets of multipliers. Now, that same thing happens here in the Extinction Chaos mode. When you reach a certain multiplier, you get another perk. So, why don't we just take a rundown of all the perks that we get. Now, when you get to the multipliers of 10, you get fast hands, 20 is increased melee damage, 30 is better traps, 40 is gas mask, 50 is sleight of hand, 60 is stopping power 1, 70 is steady aim, 80 is stalker, 90 is revive protection, 100 is fast health regen, 110 is marathon, 120 is more cash, 130 is stopping power 2, 140 is agility, 150 is extra health, and 160 is feral vision. Now there are a couple perks in that list that aren't described very well or common sense in some terms, but I'm going to elaborate on them. Better traps allows for traps to do more damage, gas masks decrease the amount of damage that the scorpion cedars and spores deal, and stopping power is back from old cods where your bullets do more damage. So theoretically once you hit the 160 multiplier, you're golden in terms of abilities, but that being said, it doesn't get any easier by any means. Chaos just keeps them coming and it gets very wild, so keep your head up and keep shooting so you don't lose your multiplier. But now may actually be a good time to mention the guns that you pick up and buy right around the map, they do have a cooldown time from when you buy it. So that means once you buy a weapon, you can't again for X amount of time. It kind of sucks, but it makes it a little challenging. And as long as you keep landing shots on cryptids, you don't lose your multiplier. So that part is kind of redeeming. Now moving on, there are bonuses as well dispersed randomly throughout the maps. These are tremendously helpful, especially when in pickles. Now there are some very rare ones, which we'll list here in a second, but those are literally lifesavers. I got to use some in the games that I played and they were lifesavers savers tremendously. They help so much. And my advice to you is if you get them, they're rare. So don't use them right away. Use them wisely and save them till when you actually need them. But those ones are combo freeze, which allows you to freeze the combo meter momentarily for all the players in the map. Skill upgrade where all players gain a skill point. A grace period where it adds 30 seconds to your grace timer. Self revive, which you get to pick yourself back up. And that is a one time use only. So those things are tremendously helpful. And like I said, use them wisely. Now there are other bonuses is dispersed randomly throughout the maps and these ones are a little more common and you'll see them a lot more now they are bonus score bonus cash trophy system flare hypno knife specialist which does unlimited ammo and feral vision for 15 seconds plus extra bullet damage tank which you get to taunt nearby cryptids plus 15 seconds of invulnerability engineer which lays down a stasis field that cryptids cannot enter for 15 seconds medic which emits an aura of healing and instant revive for 15 seconds only now as well whenever you're on mayday or nightfall you get the option to have the Venom X. Now, when you're on Mayday, you get the option to have the Venom X Fire and Venom X Lightning, which those are just variants of the Venom X, which are absolutely awesome. Now, when you're on Mayday, you also get the ability to pick up the Tesla Trap and the Hypno Trap. Those two are tremendously helpful. If you've played Mayday, you know exactly what I mean by that, as well as you get the ability to pick up Stun Ammo, Incendiary Ammo, Explosive Ammo, and Armor Piercing Ammo. Now, the beautiful thing about these is the fact that once you pick these up, they don't just go away like they do in Extinction, where if you use them up, you don't have them anymore. Once you pick it up, you have that for the rest of the Chaos lifespan. So that's a rundown of the gist that Chaos has to offer. I'd like to thank the COD forums for this because I actually was unaware of all this information as well, and I figured that I'd share it with you guys because it is some pretty cool information, and being that it's new, I'm sure a lot of people want to know exactly what goes down. Now, let me know if you guys want to see any Extinction or Chaos tips or gameplay on my channel. I absolutely love Extinction. 
and chaos, but there's never that much thirst for that type of stuff on my channel. So just let me know what you guys want to see in regards to this or what you don't want to see. But that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like right down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that, always greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty content. I have a ton of stuff still coming to you guys. As always, hope you guys have a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.